Hello learners, uh, this is example number two uh, involving solving a partial differential equation using the multipliers method. Now consider this uh, question. Solve the following partial differential equation by the multipliers method. So we have this partial differential equation. So the first step we have to express this equation in auxiliary form, in the form dx over p is equals to dy over q is equals to dz over r. This is the auxiliary form of an equation. So we express this equation in auxiliary form. So we have dx over our p is x into bracket z squared minus y squared is equals to dy over q is y into bracket x squared minus z squared then is equals to dz over r is z into brackets y squared minus x squared. Next step, we choose our first set of multipliers. We can have our first set of multipliers as a x, y, z. We choose them such that when we multiply this set of multipliers with our denominator and add to give us zero. So let us multiply these uh, variables x, y, and z with the numerator. We have x dx plus y times dy is y dy plus z times dz is z dz over we again multiply with the denominator, then add. So x times x into brackets z squared minus y squared will have x squared into z squared minus y squared plus y times this is y squared into brackets x squared minus z squared plus z into uh, multiply by this is z squared into y squared minus x squared. So we'll have x dx plus y dy plus z dz over, you multiply this, we'll have x squared z squared minus x squared y squared plus y squared x squared minus y squared z squared then plus, multiply this, will give us z squared y squared minus z squared times x squared is negative z squared x squared. Of course, when we add this, it will give us zero. So we will remain with x dx plus y dy plus z dz over zero. So this means x dz plus y dy plus z dz is equal to zero. So we integrate this equation to get our first solution. So we integrate this you have x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equals to c1. So this is our first solution. Our first solution. Now, next we, we choose our second set of multipliers. Now we can set or choose our second set of multipliers to be 
1 over x, 1 over y, and 1 over z. So again, we multiply this set of multipliers with our numerator and our denominator. But when we add the denominator, it will give us 0. So we have 1 over x dx plus or yeah, plus 1 over y dy plus 1 over z dz over 1 over x times this first part will have z squared minus y squared then plus 1 over y times this first part, uh, second part will have x squared minus z squared then plus 1 over z times this one will get y squared minus x squared so of course when we add this we'll, we'll get 0 so z squared minus z squared is 0 negative y squared plus y squared is 0 x squared minus x squared is 0 so we'll have 1 over x dx plus 1 over y dy plus 1 over z dz over 0 so this means 1 over x dx plus 1 over y dy plus 1 over z dz is equal to 0. So we integrate this equation. Now when we integrate 1 over x, it is ln x plus ln y plus ln z is equal to ln c2. So if I want to remove the ln uh, in this equation, we have a ln into x, y, and z is equal to a ln c2. So the lens cancels, will remain with x, y, z is equal to c2. So this is our second solution. Now to get the general solution, We'll have a function of our first solution, which is x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And then our second solution is x, y, z. Or we can have x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equals to phi of x, y, z.